Hello, welcome to this week's concept map presentation. Today, we will be briefly covering the multiple pathologies of altered consciousness level. Please bear in mind that this presentation will not cover the pathology and management of each condition, but rather the identification of it. The care of the reduced conscious patient is a common medical emergency. To understand why the patient lost consciousness, it is necessary to review briefly the physiology of consciousness by considering neurophysiology, cerebral metabolism, cerebral perfusion, and intracranial pressure. So, causes of low GCS can be broadly divided as reduced blood supply to the brain, CNS itself, including increased intracranial pressure and other causes that can affect cerebral metabolism and psychiatric causes. The causes that can affect the cerebral perfusion can be subdivided as cardiac cause, reduced circulatory volume and autonomic causes. We can look at cardiac causes by anatomy. Causes of cardiac syncope are aortic stenosis, arrhythmia, cardiomyopathy, and cardiac tamponade. Any causes of shock can affect the circulatory volume and cerebral perfusion. They usually present a syncope and their loss of consciousness is far more transient. We can look at the neurophysiology causes of low GCS by surgical filter, such as infective causes, vascular and neoplasm. Organ failure, toxins and systematic and all other metabolic causes can affect the cerebral metabolism and reduce consciousness level. Anxiety, panic attacks, and hysteria can also present as altered consciousness. All the causes under reduced blood supply to the brain and post ictor can calmly present as collapse, query cause, and as transient loss of consciousness. CNS causes and the other affecting cerebral metabolism can affect as a coma. Having said that, for every symptom, there might be cases that can mimic a less serious diagnosis and lead to missed life-threatening condition. Please carefully double check to identify and rule out life-threatening causes. How the structured approach can be applied to transient loss of conscious or syncope or collapse. Start with the initial assessment. If the patient is more than 65 year old and their history says transient loss of consciousness without prodromal symptoms or transient loss of consciousness during exertion, shortness of breath or family history of sudden cardiac death. On examination, signs of heart failure, low systolic blood pressure, ECG abnormality, we can consider further CVS investigation. If history suggested as uncomplicated fate or syncope, history of pain, anxiety, cough, micturation, occurred standing, preceding nausea, rapid recovery, no red flags, it must be autonomic causes. Check if the patient's standing and lying BP. If the patient has orthostatic hypertension, consider the causes that affecting the cerebral perfusion. If we suspect epilepsy or other signs of, and symptoms of neurology, further neurology investigations are requested for. If nothing suggests neurology cause, we can consider the causes which are affecting cerebral metabolism. 
How the structured approach can be applied to coma patient is illustrated here. Feel free to pause this video at any time and take a moment to process. What I would like to highlight here is that I do not recommend you to memorize these concept maps. Instead, we hope that through these concept maps, you will learn the process of diagnosis reasoning, the ability to critically examine a list of differentials, rank them according to likelihood, and pick up what does not fit. Using these examples, read through some symptoms to diagnose the cis books and create your own concept maps for each symptom. I hope this helps you and thank you very much for listening.